installation video, we'll be looking at our CAT6 shielded and CAT6A shielded modular plug and modular plug kit. The kit has two part numbers, a 90170 and a 90170-BI. Both kits include 100 connectors, two crimp tools, a strip tool, and 100 loading bars. The difference is, is the dash BI, boots included, also come with 100 boots. So let's get started with the CAT6 shielded uh, modular plug. First, the four cables that this connector fits on is our CAT6 shielded 4246F, 25 4246F, and our CAT6A shielded, which is 4246AF, and 25 4246AF. First thing we need to do is to strip the jacket. Stripping the jacket, we want to take about an inch and a quarter to inch and a half of the jacket off. So we'll take our strip tool, go back about an inch and a half on the strip, the jacket off. And what we have is our drain, wi drain wire that we want to separate that. And then we have a mylar coating that's over top. And we'll just take wire cutters and just snip that off and peel that off to expose all the conductors. Now the conductors we want to separate those are the pairs we want to separate those because internally there is a, a, a spline that separates the pairs to make it a CAT6 shield, CAT6 or a CAT6A shielded cable. We want to disregard that and cut that off. Once that's cut off we want to take a separate tool which is not included in our kit which is our TL-CAT wire ST pair separation tool. And this tool basically uh, separates the pairs without damaging your fingers. The simplest way to do it is just to put a loop in the back of the pair. This tool has a needle that you want to feed the needle into the separated or the hole that you just created. And just simply pull that. And it separates the conductors nice and straight for you. So you want to do that on, on all four of the pairs. Once you've done that on all four of the pairs, we want to do a, uh, a certain color code for the modular plug. In this case, we'll do the 568B. So we have white, orange, orange, white, green, we have blue, white, blue, green, white, brown, and brown. So we're going to put those into uh, the T568B color code. Kind of shake those around to get them tightly uh, together. Take our cutters and cut those nice and straight across. Once we've done that, we take a loading bar. Now the loading bar has a uh, large opening and a small opening to it and we want to take the larger opening of the loading bar and feed our conductors into the loading bar. Just kind of wiggle it around and the uh, conductors will seat in there uh, fairly easily. Once we do that we want to take our cutters again and cut that pretty much flush with the loading bar. Now take the conductors and feed them about halfway in the loading bar. And this will just help guide uh, the cable into the modular plug itself. The modular plug, we will have the white, orange, and orange pair on the left hand side of the, of the modular plug upside down. So we want to feed that into the the cable into the modular plug and just kind of twist and turn it around a little bit until the jacket is into the connector and then visibly take a look at it 
from the back end or from the front end to make sure that the conductors are seated properly. Once that's done, we want to take our IDC crimp tool, feed that into the 8 position, crimp that down. Take our external ground and push that up onto the jacket. Take our drain wire. We want to wrap that around. You can do that a couple times. Just want to make sure we have a good connection there for the ground. Take our external crimp tool. And some people have different technique, techniques to this, but uh, just take it easy on this. You don't want to squeeze the jacket too tight. But we do want to make sure that it's around the the external ground is around the overall outside jacket. And if you need to, you might need to snip off some of the uh, drain wire. Once that's completed, if you have bought the boot version of it, and this is something some people forget to do, is we want to make sure we load the boot onto the cable. But of course, this is more for aesthetics and looks than anything. Take our boot up over the connector. And then we have our CAT6 shielded modular plug. For any questions on any of our cables, connectors, or accessories, please visit our website at www.westpen-wpw.com. Thank you.